Hello there. My name is Robert, and today we're actually going to be starting a new series in Stardew Valley. You guessed it. I'm assuming you guessed it from the uh, title screen. Alright, so let's start our character here. Their name will be Robert. We'll uh, go with Foxy Farm. And my favorite thing is... Mm -hmm. You know what, let's go with, uh, my favorite thing is mashed potatoes. And I can't do that. Okay, so my favorite thing will now be video games. Alright, I like the look of that. Alright, let me adjust something right here. Okay, so we... I like... Yeah, I'm that. I like skin f or skin four, hair five. Oh, there's a lot of shirts. Okay, I think that my preferred shirt was uh, was it that? No, it was that. Yeah. Let's take a look at all the beards here. This is closest to what I like. Oh, uh, that's a lot of accessories. Uh, yeah, that's the closest to what I actually like. So let's just kind of play around with uh, these colors a bit here. Yeah, I like the look of that. Hair color. <laughs> uh, let's keep it right around there. And then adjust that a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pants, uh, I want those to be like... I want them to be kind of reddish, so... Yeah, that looks good. All right, and we're not gonna skip the intro. Oh, forgot my animal preference is dogs. So, we're not gonna skip the intro because I actually like watching the intro, and especially since this is gonna be the first episode of it. So, you know, don't wanna skip that. Just check a thing here. Yeah, okay. And for my special grandson. Okay, yeah, never mind. I might have wanted to skip the intro, but for the sake of it being the first episode of this, I'm not going to skip the intro. I'm actually really excited about this because I do actually really enjoy this game. I've got about 20 hours into it so far on another uh, playthrough, uh, but I've had it since it came out. I just, I'm the kind of person that when I get a new game, I get distracted by that for a long time and then I'll forget to come back to other stuff. But when I do get back into a game, I get into it for quite a while. So when I first got Stardew Valley, I put about five hours worth into it over the course of about a week. And for me, that was kind of a lot at the time. And then I stopped playing for a little bit and then got into other stuff and then came back and put another five hours or so into it. Basically, I've played it in about four or five hour increments, basically, over the span of like a week or so. But sitting down to play it like this is going to be really fun, I think. Recently, I've gotten stuff like Wolfenstein and, uh, you know, the new one anyway, I mean, and uh, other things. And so I've been kind of preoccupied with those games. And then my FTL series, I was also preoccupied with that. But uh, I've decided to put a stop to the FTL series for now. Unless I get like a huge outcry. And let's be real here. I'm not going to get a huge outcry <laughs> of uh, people wanting me to play it again. I'm not going to go back to it for a while. Uh, especially because I wasn't good at it. I know for a fact I'm not good at that game. And I know that probably wasn't all that fun to watch. But... Uh, I'm giving this a shot because I am much better at this than I am at uh, FTL. I mean, it, it, it's Stardew Valley. If you haven't played this before, then, you know, it's not a hard game. Dear Robert, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I had lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy. Foxy Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. 
I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Oh. <laughs> Forgot you're supposed to exit out of it. God, man, the music in this is really loud until you can adjust it the first time. It's like my ears feel like they're gonna burst right now. It's really loud. It's better now that there's no music playing, but... You know, this is a really interesting world to me. I would love to see more stuff in this world, but I know that the creator is, a. Uh... I think I read somewhere that after he's done, like, putting in all the rest of the stuff he wants to do with Stardew Valley, he's gonna not do another game, or not do another one for a while, or he's not coming back to Stardew Valley. Like, once he gets the stuff in this game that he wants to get in it, he's gonna stop for a while, basically, and that makes me kind of sad. Robin, the local carpenter. Okay, I can't possibly read every single person's dialogue. That would get really boring really fast, so, uh, but I actually played through this bit already. I had recorded up to about the third in-game day, and after I finished recording, I realized that all of it was useless because there was no game audio. Or, it felt useless to me, and I was really upset at myself, and, uh, basically deleted it in a huff because I was really mad at myself for not recording all that, so it was about 40 minutes of footage lost. But uh, it's no big deal. I'm starting up now and I'm actually using uh, a different mic than I've been using for FTL and than what I use for the Stardew Valley stuff I did uh, the other day. Uh, my friend recently got a brand new mic and he's letting me borrow it uh, for right now and uh, I'm kind of basically testing it out and uh, it sounds really clear and good, and I, I love it. And it, I, it, in my opinion, it already sounds much better than uh, the old headset mic that I've been using. Like, the audio quality is much higher, and you can't pick up... It doesn't pick up as much of the background noise as my old headset did. And uh, that's already a huge plus to me, and so I'm, I'm hoping to save up and get my own mic. That way I don't have to borrow anyone else's. Krusty might be a little more apt, though. <laughs> Rude! Don't listen to her, Robert. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. I mean, yeah, he's not wrong. She's the lady we go to for all our carpentry needs. We'll go to her to upgrade the house and put buildings on the farm and whatnot. She's basically who we go to when we want to upgrade our farm. So if we want to add a, co a chicken coop or a barn for cows and stuff like that and get a stable at some point to put over here. That's the thing we're going to put all our stuff in whenever we want to sell. Uh, my cursor got stuck there for a second. That's weird. Oh, I could have done without that in my ear. Okay, we are awake, and we are going to change these settings. We need that. I love having that on. This music volume is going to go down to about right here. The sound is going to go down a little bit. Ambient can stay where it is, and footstep can go down to where the ambient is. That is much better. Oh my god, I can actually hear myself think now. What is this? Ah, I forgot about that. You get little quests that you can complete too. And these are just basically introductory stuff to get me started. So they gave me parsnips to start my farm out with. But first, we have to clear the farm a little bit. Okay, so what I like to do is I'm gonna put... Or, no, I'm gonna put that there. We're gonna put the axe there. Those can go together. The hoe can be last. Alright. There might actually be more silences in this series than there were in the FTL, I'm not sure. Because sometimes I get kind of lost in the, uh, 
everything that I'm doing. So I apologize if that bothers anyone that's watching, but I I just I like this world, so it I get lost in it occasionally. I'm just clearing off the stuff I can clear first. We will actually need some of that stuff that I just got rid of, so. Getting rid of all the wood that I can. And we need a lot of wood right now to make a chest real quick to store some of this stuff because unfortunately the toolbar at the very bottom of the screen is all the inventory space I have at the moment. It's very pitiful. Until I get about, I think it's 5,000 in, uh, 5,000 G? Uh, I, this is all the inventory space I'm going to have, so that's that's the thing I'm working towards. Let's chop this tree down, and then we should have enough, hopefully. That is definitely enough. Okay. Let's build this chest. And we will set it down right here. Go ahead and store this stuff in it. Get out of that. And then real quick, we'll clear off these rocks. And I can go ahead and hoe down some of the dirt and plant my parsnips. You know, now that I think about it, I've never actually eaten a parsnip. Are they any good? I, uh... What even is a parsnip? Is that like some kind of... I know it's a vegetable, obviously, but like, what is it? Where does it grow? Who grows it? Where are parsnips from? I'm interested in parsnips now. I'm gonna go Google parsnips after this. That had never occurred to me before that I know nothing about parsnips. But I guess now I know that I don't know, so... I can find out. Oops. Just tried to, uh... X some... <laughs> Just tried to axe down some rock. We need lots of rock, too. Take care of this wood here. Oh god, I gotta sneeze! Boy, that is gonna be really loud. Did not mean to put that out. I apologize. Okay, so let's see, that's where the door ends. Hmm. Let's make it five across. Normally it is best to fertilize your dirt before you plant stuff, but I don't have any fertilizer right now, so no. I'm not gonna worry about that. Just slowly water our plants, and then go refill the water. Oops. This is a very relaxing game. You can easily lose hours playing this game if you let yourself. Like, it is... It, I hear it described kind of like... A, Kind of like that, what is it? Civilization series. It's like, oh, just one more turn. But in this, it's just like, oh, just just, just one more day. Just one more day. Uh, my, my crops are almost done. Uh, you know, I, 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 I only got... They're almost done. I can, I can, I can do this. Ooh, I'm gonna have to pick some stuff so that I don't die. I'm just kidding. You don't actually die. You, uh... If your energy runs out before... Uh, a certain amount of time. If, you, if your energy runs out before the day is over, then... Yeah, let me eat that real quick. If your energy runs out before the day is over, you will basically keel over wherever you're standing, and then someone, I don't, I don't know who it is exactly, uh, basically takes you back to your home and puts you in bed. And uh, it's kind of an invasion of privacy, but, you know, that's whatever. Let's go around and talk to people, and no one's here.
there's typically two people in there and it's uh okay nothing posted today there's typically two people in the oh oh nice see on my last recordings of this i had no idea where she was so i wasn't able to talk to her oh that's right i heard someone new is moving out of the old farm anything more interesting to say i mean say i also have a portrait mod uh installed right now i don't know if you have noticed that yet these are not the actual in-game portraits of the base game. I installed a portrait mod, but the purple-haired girl over there and that girl that I just talked to over there are two of the marriage candidates. Uh, and they're very nice. Uh, the two that I'm going to go after are either her, Leah, or why am I not? Why am I not? Uh, why is nothing happening there? Okay. The two I'm going to talk to are either Leah, or I mean, the two I'm either going to marry are either Leah or Maru, and I haven't met Maru yet. All right, he's the place to go to for seeds. Let's actually buy some seeds from him. I want to get some cauliflower. So let's buy what cauliflower I can. Let's buy six. And then, oh! I accidentally sold it! Okay, never mind, we got five. That, oh, nope, never mind, that's 2,000 G. Okay, I thought it was 5,000 for some reason. But, uh, cauliflower, we'll grow that. Uh, as soon as I go back to the farm, I'll plant it and uh, water it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going around and talking to all these people so I can meet them and fulfill that one quest. Uh, it'll take a couple of in-game days. It'll probably be like day four or five that I finally get talked to everyone. Possibly even later, I'm not sure. Because you have to talk to this one guy in the... Oh, a wizard. You have to talk to him in his tower. I'm gonna go talk to the people over here. Let's go talk to uh, the blacksmith here. Clint. Uh, hi, I'm Clint. But no, this game is actually really relaxing. Uh, this is kind of like the Harvest Moon series, you know, if you've never played those, they're really relaxing games. And, uh, let's see if he shows up on the thing now. Does he show up? I talked to him. Let me go around and talk to him and see if that works. It does not because you cannot get to him. Okay, never mind. Maybe he doesn't count. I don't know. It seems uh, the kids aren't here. But this game's like the Harvest Moon series in a lot of ways because the creator of it was inspired by Harvest Moon. And honestly, I wish I had the dedication that this guy had. This game took him like five years to make. That takes some serious man hours and some serious dedication. He uh, he really deserves all the credit uh, that he can get for making something as amazing as this. I wonder how much money he actually made off of this. I don't know how much money, like how much of a cut Steam takes for every sale of a game on their platform, but I think within like the first weekend alone this game sold over a million copies on steam and it was f it's 15 dollars normally so i think i did the math once and it was if he got only like 40 percent of the earnings from the game when it was 15 dollars out of that million sold he made like over a million dollars but i still don't know for certain if that's how it works or not but it's an insane amount, either way. And I really, I wish him luck in whatever he ends up wanting to do after this, because, God. Like I said, that takes some serious dedication. The kind of, uh, kind of dedication that I really wish I could commit to pretty much anything. You know? This is one of the bachelors. You can, one thing I do love about this game... It's something I'm not going to take, like, part in, unless there's just, like, 
a lot of demand for it or something. But like I said, who's going to be demanding anything from me? Uh, but like, there's you have the ability in this game, whether you're male or female, to marry either the male or female candidates for marriage. It doesn't matter whether you're male or female or not. There's, you know, uh, gay and lesbian options for you. And I, I just think that's pretty nice of, uh, of the creator to bother putting in. Let me see, talk to Alex here. Talk to Shane here. I'm actually already doing a lot better than I was on my initial run through of this that I recorded and lost. It's like half those people that I've talked to, I didn't run into on the first day. I ran into them like on the second day, I think. Daffodils or something I'm gonna want to keep because I'm pretty sure that they make a good gift for Leah. Let's go up here and see if Maru or Demetrius are home. Is anyone home? No? Okay. Maru's actually probably at the clinic now that I think about it. Or just walking home from the clinic. There's Sebastian. I didn't run into him at all. Uh, let's go see if the homeless guy Linus is here. And after that, I'll head back to the farm and plant my crops, and I can talk tomorrow another day. Linus is here. A stranger. Hello. 17 out of 28 greeted. Nice. Who am I still missing? Oh, wrong thing. Let's see... If it says single, they're a person that you can date and then eventually marry. Maru, Evelyn, Haley, Jody, Jess, and Sam, Pam, Penny, Harvey, Demetrius, the wizard, and I think his name's Marlin. The wizard's probably going to be the hardest one for me, because I don't actually remember how you get to speak with him. I know where his tower is, but I don't know if you have to, like, wait a certain amount of time before you can talk to him or not. Or, like, a certain amount of time before you can get to his tower. It's been a while since I've started a new game on this, so I don't know quite everything. So f forgive me if uh, parts of it are hard to watch. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that my uh, FTL series was hard to watch because I've, I've had someone tell me it was. But uh, I do try my best. Okay, let's put that in. Let's go ahead and put the leak in too. And I will organize this a bit better at some point down the line. We're gonna sell that. So we'll go ahead and put that in the box real quick. Just make a, probably like 20 bucks today. And then eventually I'm gonna wanna make a scarecrow. I don't have it yet. I'm gonna need to make these at some point too. But uh, let's go ahead and just place this here. Oops. I've only got five, so... Actually, why don't we just do it like this? There we go. Alright, slowly water. And that a uh, little bit that makes it look an awful lot like a penis. We'll, uh, I'll get rid of that tomorrow if it... Actually, I don't think you can get rid of it, but it will be gotten rid of by tomorrow. Oh, please let my energy... One, two... No, I can't do it. Don't have enough. Actually, I got a little more time. I want to See, that'll give me plus 40 energy, plus 13, none. How much do I currently have? Four? I'll take the leak. Eat it. Alright, I'll get rid of the stump real quick. 38. Get rid of 
that, and then we'll get rid of this. Okay, yeah, we can get rid of the tree. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. Okay, so once it hits... forgot that it takes five in order to get rid of those. Okay. We basically, we want to get up to 300 wood and I think like 300 stone, but our priority right now is 300 wood so that we can unlock the second part of the beach that you might have seen had a question mark over it. But basically, if it gets to 2 a.m., your character will immediately keel over and fall asleep and uh, the mayor, I think, is the person who comes and drags you along. It's the same as if you run out of energy, basically. So you're living off the land. Okay. Let's take a look at the weather report for tomorrow. Going to rain all day. Wow, so I won't have to water my new crops. Oh, well, good thing I waited until nighttime to check out my luck, I guess. Okay. That, um, that was a pretty productive first day, I'd say. Uh, since this is such a long recording, I'm just going to go ahead and call it here. Oh, I was wrong. It's plus 30. Wow, I, th I said 20. But since this was such a long recording, a long first day, I'm going to end it here and uh, hope to see you all again next time for the next episode of this. Uh, this has been Robert playing Stardew Valley. Uh, I hope that you like, comment, you know, subscribe if you want to see more of this. Uh, especially, you know, subscribe and comment and, you know, let me know if you're enjoying this. And uh, hope to see you all again soon. See ya!